Hi everybody, it's Ann Katzoff of Ask Design. Welcome. I'm going to talk to you today about InDesign Master Pages. The main reasons to use Master Pages are to ensure consistency throughout the publication and to save time when producing the document. Maintaining consistency throughout a publication provides cohesiveness and builds reader confidence. Fonts, sizes, styles, colors, and positioning are the primary components that contribute to continuity. When considering what to use on a master page, designers look for patterns that can be replicated. Now let me skip over to an InDesign document so that I can show you what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. Hold on a sec. Okay, now we're looking at a master page in a document that I've created for this tutorial. And um, it shows that some of the typical candidates for master pages are already in place. Some of them are page size. Uh, in this case, it's 8.5 by 11. You're looking at two pages next to each other, which uh, constitutes a spread. I've also built a grid. All these lines that you see are part of a grid that we use when we're aligning and positioning things. Uh, it has the margins, the number of columns, the column widths for the body text, the, even the positioning of the body text, the frames with the, um, the text, as you can see, now that I've clicked on it, you can see these arrows which show that they're all linked together, so the text will flow from one um, one frame to the other. We've got the page numbers down here also considered folios. There we go. Close and personal. Um, you can also on a master page put things like headlines and subheadlines, also sidebars determining their width and their position and all that. So these are some of my top candidates for a master page. Efficiency is another of the main reasons to use master pages. Uh, master pages make the production process much simpler and faster, especially when you use them uh, with style sheets. You can create multiple master pages and I recommend constructing a default master page that has most or all of the elements you need on the majority of your regular document pages. Adobe calls this the parent master. Now, some advantages that come to mind are that the master page items will appear on all the document pages to which it is applied. This is particularly useful when you make changes. Rather than editing each individual document page, you merely edit the master page and all of the associated document pages will automatically have that same change. New InDesign documents already have a default master page, which you can modify as needed, or you can make an entirely new default page. You can duplicate the default master page for additional master pages, or you can base other master pages on the default one. And when you base them on the default page, these are called child masters. So whenever a parent master is modified, the same modifications appear on the child master. Now quickly let me show you that here's the pages panel it shoots out to the uh, left on, on my document. Uh, we're looking at the A master, I'm calling it the original master. And let's just go down to the regular document pages here for a second. You'll see I've applied that A master to all of these pages and they are currently identical because I haven't changed anything yet. But you'll see this little tiny A in the corner, which indicates the A master has been applied to all of these document pages. The only rogue here is the uh, page one, and I've applied master C to that page. I'll get to that in a sec. 
Master page items on a document are locked and cannot be edited um, on a document page unless they're overridden. For example, let's say you want to change the chapter title. Let's get to right here. You would unlock that frame and then you'd be able to edit it, change it from one to whatever you need. The way to unlock it would be on a Mac, Command, Shift, and then click on it. Alternatively, you could create master, child masters for each chapter, and each of those would have the appropriate chapter title. Um, another key advantage to master pages is that automatic page numbering can be configured and uh, what a time-saving feature that is. Can you imagine having to number each page manually, especially in a long book? InDesign rescues you from this tedious task. All right, let's get to the um, key tutorial part of this video, which is how to actually create master pages. The pages panel displays all of the master and document pages. It's found right here. Click on it and it will scoot out to the left. Uh, the panel should be open by default the moment you open or create a document. If not, you can find it by selecting the Windows menu and scrolling down to Pages. You see this check mark indicates that I already have it open. It is paired with the Layers and Links panels, and all the master pages are above this line, which you can move up and down. And below the line are all of the document pages. Now, the default master can be um, it can be used as is, or it can be adjusted. I have already adjusted it, and actually, I've already renamed it. So its original name was a master. I added the word original to it. Let's double click on it, and you can see it's highlighted here. If I go to this drop down menu and master options, you can change the name right there and the prefix. And you can determine whether or not it's based on something else. So let's create a new master. Get that pages panel visible and click on the little tiny hamburger menu there and uh, click on new master. The prefix will automatically be filled in. You can change it to whatever you want. And you can change the name to whatever you want. And you can base it on none or another master. Let's just leave this at none for the moment. And you can use up to 10 pages in that master page. I can't imagine ever having to do that. And I've been doing um, design for <laughs> probably 20 years. I don't think I've ever had 10 pages in a master page spread scenario. But hey, you know, it is possible. I generally have uh, two pages. Now, when you do create a new master and base it on another master, I'm going to choose a master original, you're actually creating a child master and it will be based on a master, so a master becomes the parent of the child. Another way to um, create a master page is to duplicate an existing page. So let's go back to the Pages panel. There are two ways to do this. You can um, select the name of the master page in the panel and then um, select Duplicate Master Page A Master Original. Or a slightly quicker way to do it 
is to select the master name and drag it to the new page icon right here. Okay, and there we go. It's going to be an exact, an exact replica of a master. Pretty sweet, huh? Now, you can also create a master from an existing page or spread. You know, sometimes you get very involved in designing on a document page and you don't even realize that you're on a document page when you should be designing on a master page. So I've seen this happen a lot, especially with my students. I've done it, and there's an easy solution, thankfully. Um, again, there are two ways to create a master page from an existing document page or spread. So let's go back to our Pages panel, and you select both of the spread icons. So you can't just do it with one um, one of the pages, it won't work. You have to select both. And um, then you can go back to this little hamburger menu. Ah, it's under master pages, so that it's a sub menu, and you can save as a master right there. So you can do that method, or use that method, sorry, or you can um, select both of the page icons and then just drag it to the um, master section at the top of the panel. So let's go right up here. And there you go. Um, now I mentioned a little bit about child masters earlier. Let's um, go over this a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, child masters are master pages that are based on another master, which we'll now call the parent master. Items on a child master that exist on the parent will automatically be updated if they're modified on the parent master. So you decide whether or not to base one master on another when creating a new master, as we did um, you know, two, two or three steps ago. But with existing masters, you can always change what they are based on. So let's try that. Let's go to this master here, the C master, and I've already got it based on um, A. Let's go back to master options for that page, and you can just change it right here. You know, it's really that simple. If you don't like that method, you um, can drag the master name that you prefer as the parent onto the um, master page you want to change. So let's just pretend for a minute we want D master. You just drag it on there. It should change it. it made a little bit of a mess, but you see that it worked. <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing Command Z here <laughs> just to get back to where we were. Now, child masters can be edited and thus they can differ from the master upon which they are based. And I've already done this. I mean, this is C master, which was based, it still is based on the A master. And you can see I've, I've changed things around. I've got um, the chapter opener information right here. The rest of it is pretty much the same, but this is a key difference right here. Um, you can add or subtract elements. You can resize enhance or style things differently. A whole bunch of things can be done. And again, you unlock parent items by pressing Control Shift on a Windows system or Command Shift on the Mac OS and then clicking that um, text frame or um, image frame. If you have difficulty overriding parent items, check to make sure Master Overrides is enabled. We'll go to the Pages panel and um, up to Master Pages. Let's see. You can do um, override everything or have allow Master Overrides on selection. I haven't selected anything, so it's grayed out. 
Now, applying master pages, now that you know how to uh, create the master pages, um, let's talk a little bit about how to actually use them. When you create a new document, the A master will automatically be applied to all of the pages. To apply a different master to a single page, drag the master page icon in the pages panel to a page icon. So let's go to, let's see, all of these are based on A master. I've got a B master that's blank here, just to really exaggerate what's going to happen. I'll drag the left page onto this left page, and you'll see, okay, that worked. And you can see this one, it has stuff on it. I'm going to drag that there, and it no longer has um, the A master stuff on it. And you can see the little B there, because it's now, um, it's now uh, using the B master instead of the A master. To apply a different master to a spread, you can select the two pages of the master, go to the hamburger menu, and apply master to pages, and then you select the pages that you want, either all pages or four to five, or you know, two to three, whatever. Now, let's say you're creating new pages. Uh, those new pages um, will be based on the master that is currently being used on the active uh, page or spread. So right now I have pages two, three is active. And let's create a new page. Let's see. Pages, go to the layout menu, pages, um, in, I'll insert two. So you can either add a single page or more than one. Let's insert two pages after the last page, which is page 10. Um, you could base it on the B master here, um, which it automatically is defaulting to, you can see, or you can override it and you can change it. So let's just do the B master. You can see they've um, automatically been added to the end of the document. What if we were to um, activate this spread, 8 and 9, go back to the layout menu, pages, insert pages, and um, the active page uses the A master, and you can see it defaults to A master, so it's pretty sweet. It um, automatic, automatically picks up the master page that is, um, is active, or you can override it. And, and finally, if you want to add just a single page, find the spot where you want to add it. Like, I'm going to add it right here. After page 10, I want a new page 11. It will be based... At, on the same master as page 10. So I'm going to go to Layout, Pages, Add a Page, and it picks up the same master as the active page, which at the time was page 10. So now I have a spread that um, uses the same master on both pages. Um, I think I've covered everything. <laughs> if I haven't, Feel free to ask questions or, you know, if you need me to clarify anything, uh, scoot, scoot over to my email or just leave a comment and, um, you know, I'll, I'll get back to you for sure. And I hope this tutorial has been helpful and I thank you for your time. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.